So the aim of today is to get your Premiere Pro exports that you want to upload to TikTok and Instagram from looking like this to this. Once you're in Premiere Pro and you've created a new project, we want to create a new sequence. So go to File, New Sequence. Along this list, you want to choose Digital SLR and then 1080p and then either 24, 25 or 30 based on the frame rate that you shot in. If your frame rate is not on this list, don't worry, just select any of them because we can change the frame rate in the settings in a minute. I'm going to select 30. At the top, along these four tabs, click on settings. This is where you can change your frame rate if you did shoot in something like 60 and you wanted to change it to that. Underneath that, you've got your video dimensions, which is pretty much the most important bit of this setup. The first box needs to be 2160 and the second box needs to be 3840. You can see that's given us a 9 by 16 vertical video, which is the correct dimensions for Instagram and TikTok. You can save this as a preset by clicking the save preset button at the bottom, but don't worry about changing any of these settings above that. They're all fine. Click on save preset, name it whatever it is you want. So TikTok, Instagram, 4K, and then my frame rate, which is 30 FPS. Click on OK. And then when you come to load a new sequence later, you won't have to do any of that because you can just scroll down to the bottom under custom and your new preset will appear. So select that and press OK. Here's our new sequence. You can see in the video preview, it pretty much looks exactly the same as we would expect it to look. So now we need to import our footage. So I'm just going to import a couple of random clips from Barcelona, which have appeared in the project window to the side. So if I drag a clip onto the timeline, you'll see this mismatch warning comes up. Keep settings or change settings. If we want to keep the dimensions of what we've just created, we obviously need to press keep. If we press change, it will change the dimensions to the video dimensions, which is obviously not what we want. So if we undo that and drag the clip back in and press keep, you can see that it's kept the dimensions the same, but now it's added these two black bars at the top and bottom. Obviously we don't want these, so to get rid of them, we need to click on our clip on the timeline, go to effects control, and then scale the clip in to get rid of the black bars. And we can also use the position tool above that to move it from left to right if we wanna recenter some things. You can play the clip through just to make sure everything is showing as you want it to be shown. Once you've added more clips in, you've added music, you've done your edit and you're ready to export. Make sure you set your markers in and out. And then we go to the export window. Change the file name to whatever it is you want it to be. Instagram, TikTok, test, and make sure the location is set to where you want it to be saved. Format H.264 is fine. And then we want to go to the video tab. All your basic video settings should be correct because they've matched from the sequence. So we wanna click on more and we wanna make sure render at maximum depth is selected and use maximum render quality is selected as well. Scroll down, encoding settings, software main six is fine. Keep scrolling down, all of this is fine. And we wanna to get to the most important settings of the export, which is the bitrate settings. You wanna make sure that the bitrate is set to CBR, which is constant bitrate, and not VBR, which is variable bitrate. And then anything from like eight to 10 is fine. You just need to keep an eye on the file size in the bottom right of the screen. We don't want it to be too high. You can see if we put it to the maximum, which is 240, it shoots the file size up to 610, which is just way too high. And in fact, I don't even think TikTok or Instagram will accept that because it's just insanely high. So we wanna keep it down 10 is fine for this upload the higher the file size the more tiktok and instagram are going to compress the video which is going to do the reverse of what we are trying to do by keeping everything high quality after you've set the bitrate you are done with the video setting so we can scroll back to the top then we've got audio. I don't have any audio in this clip because it's a drone shot. But if you did have audio on your timeline, make sure it is selected. 
and then these settings are fine and 320 as the bitrate is perfectly fine for audio as well you don't need to go through any of these other options but if you want to save what we've just done as a preset like we did with the sequence settings preset you can do so by coming up to preset and these three dots click on that press save preset name it whatever you want and then press OK. I've already got one, so just press cancel. And then when you come to load your export window later, if you go to the preset drop down menu, you'll see it will appear there. So you can just select it from there rather than going through and doing what we just did. If you're using an older version of Premiere Pro, this is the export window. All the settings are exactly the same. It's just laid out completely different. So just go through and make sure what we've just done is all correct and matches up. Once you're ready, just hit the magic button and export. But my advice is do not send your video to your phone via email or messenger because it will downgrade the quality. If you want to send it to your phone, do it by connecting your phone to the computer and then sending it like that because it will retain all the quality that you've just exported. Whilst we're on TikTok and Instagram, make sure you check out mine in the description below.